I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. If you want to know what kept me away from YouTube, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and I am so happy to be back. This is going to be just the second video that goes up since I have been away from YouTube. I believe the last video that went up was November 17th, and we are now the 27th. And holy cow, has a lot happened. One little disclaimer here as we get into this video is that I just came back from the dentist's office, and I don't know if this happens to you, but when they clean, you end up with little gaps between your teeth uh, just because they're getting rid of tartar or whatever. And so sometimes I feel like there's little bubbles <laughs> that happen as I'm speaking. So if I stop and kind of do this, it's just because I don't want to see bubbles as I'm editing, nor do I want you to have to see that coming out of my mouth. So it's the weirdest feeling, these little, little pockets of air popping up. Anyway. I don't mean to gross you out, just I'm going to be weird. I, there's nothing that I can really do about it. I do want to, though, take a look at these nails. I love this. This is a set of two different colors from um, the Ciate London 2018 Mini Manny. And it is Prima Ballerina underneath and Supernova as a topper. And I'm really, really dig in the the color and I think it goes well with my top too so I'm pretty happy. Anyway, I digress. What I figured I would do is tell you a little bit about what happened and do my eye makeup and face makeup uh, at the same time. Although you can tell already that I have stuff on my face. So what do I have already? I have my moisturizer, my primer, my base. I have my eyebrows done. I have my eye primer, which is the Aqua XL from Makeup Forever in M56. It's kind of a brown. And also uh, Urban Decay Sin, which is a very sparkly beige, um, not beige, cream, on the inner to kind of center lid there. Um, and I have a remnant, uh, like I mean a remnant, of the Buxom Cure Royale on my lips. And I think, oh yeah, and I have a mascara on, and um, although... It's worn away a little bit because I was doing the eye look afterwards. Again, I was at the dentist this morning, so I had mascara on. Uh, and I have zero, Urban Decay, zero on my upper waterline. Am I missing anything? No. I also have concealer, but I think you would have gathered that at this point. Okay. Let's uh, get into story time, and I will start grabbing some... Uh, palettes to do my face and uh, chat away at the same time. As I zoomed right away to my makeup, I'm going to be using the Park Avenue Princess as my base, uh, meaning my uh, bronzer for most of my face. And I needed my trusty brush. Actually, I'm going to grab two brushes. There we go. Okay, a small brush I'm going to contour my nose and a larger brush for the rest of my face. So I've got some contour on here and I'm going to lightly go on each side because I got a big nose, big prominent nose, and I'm not, it's not a complaint, I just have a prominent nose. So, on uh, November 18th, I had filmed the video that just went up, I think yesterday, I think yesterday morning, and uh, yeah, it had to be yesterday. Anyway, I, um, I had just filmed, um, well, I'd filmed and edited that video along with a bunch of other ones that they'll be trickling in over the next uh, seven to 10 days because I've, I've had to film a lot of panning stuff that needs to go up uh, by the end of the month. And uh, so some videos will wait till early in the next month and it'll be a little bit disjointed for the next couple of weeks just as I try to get everything out the door, so to speak, edited and, and so on. Um, and so I was in the process, I have, I have an orchard in my house, meaning all that we have are um, Apple products. And so I was working on my Mac, uploading the video that was published yesterday. And 
I um, it interrupted halfway through and my computer just decided to start rebooting. And I was like, what is, what is going on? That never happens. Well, it tried to reboot and it didn't have much luck. So it got stuck in a rebooting cycle. So I called Apple and I said, uh oh, I'm having a problem here. And they gave me a choice of Apple certified dealers because I had actually tried to contact the dealer that I used the last time two years ago that something happened with the computer and they were abruptly so um, out of business. So I couldn't really uh, work with, with them, obviously, if they're not around. Now, I need two hands for this. So because of that, Apple gave me uh, an opportunity to try to find another dealer nearby and I was able to get a dealer within 15 minutes drive of my place, actually right by my favorite Starbucks, which was kind of cool. And uh, so I go there and the guy goes, okay, well, I'm going to run some diagnostics and see how quickly we can get you back up and running. And I was really concerned because my backup of the computer was not up to date and I was really concerned about what I was going to lose and kicking myself and I had a little ugly cry and not not a not a wild cry but I had an ugly cry because I was I felt overwhelmed by the implications of it well I get a call um, the next day saying hey your computer it seems to there was just a, a bug with the a boot up process and uh, we seem to have resolved it and you're good to go. So the very next day I'm picking it up. I was thrilled. Although my husband and I were already talking about a new computer because this one is nine years old. Uh, it's still performing great, but it is nine years old. So anyway, I bring it home and turkey that I am, I don't back up my computer right away. What do I do? I start working on an upload for YouTube because I felt I was already behind because I was over a day late in getting my next video up. I'll tell you what my priorities are, right? Anyway, uh, but hey, I was really trying to give you guys content. So it was a um, good check mark on me, right? Good YouTuber, bad computer owner, but good YouTuber. So. Anyway, I get through an hour and a half and I, I was uploading the video. Therefore, I could get into some of my accounting stuff to do. And as I get into my accounting stuff, starting to, to print them off, the computer just kaputs, gone. And I try um, rebooting and it makes an awful screeching, clicking sound and I'm going, oh my God, I have killed this computer. So I call back the uh, shop. The gentleman wasn't super nice <laughs> about it and um, kind of almost like a, what did you do? And anyway, I bring it uh, in and he's telling me it's gonna take the whole weekend. It was Thursday, no, it was Wednesday when I took it in. And so I was pretty upset about that for a number of reasons because it was going to be a long time and also a long time before I could know what was going on with it. Well, he did give me the bad news that it looked like it was the video card and that I could not get, that there's no way to get that computer to, to boot up anymore. And so I would have to move to next steps, which would be to, to get a machine and so on. So my next step is I go to Apple I am super, super fortunate, first off, to have an Apple store in my city, second off, to have the means to bring it in right away. I mean, I, I'm very, very grateful for that. So I bring it in, they figure it out that it is the hard drive, and so they take out the hard drive and go and start the migration process to put it into a new machine, which I agreed to purchase. I'm not putting makeup on. Let me get my next step here. I think I'm okay with the bronzing stuff. So let's go into some blush. I already know I'm going to do a cooler look. So I think I'm going to go in with this middle blush here. This is the Anastasia Pool Party. 
I really like this trio a lot. Here is my blush brush. Um, so anyway, they go through and they start the, the migration. And then I get, I think it was a phone call. What happened? Um, trying to remember what happened. Something happened with the, um, the computer when they were trying to show me. Anyway, I went back into the Apple store once I thought the migration was done and the migration was not working. Oh yeah, because they were trying to show me how it works, blah, 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 thinking the migration was done. But as they were showing me how it was working and how it was set up, it was malfunctioning. And, um, and so they tried to fix it in the store and they figured they had it done. And so I took it home. Well, I take it home and I try to use it after the fix and it's still not working correctly. So I uh, call up uh, Apple to the, the um, repair line, I guess. And um, I get told, okay, well, you'll have to uh, make an appointment the next day if you want to come in as early as possible right when the store opens. Again, I'm very grateful that I had that time available to go and do that. And I was in very, very quickly. I set up an appointment and within an hour, I was back in the store with, with um, uh, my computer. So, and so this is like about a, a two day turnaround of, it, of everything going on. Um, I get into the store and they, they take the computer, they understand what's going on, they take the computer and essentially what they had to do is they were trying um, just a kind of an automated upload, not upload, but um, backing up, backing up, <laughs> setting up the new computer with my old hard drive. And it turned out that the only way that they could do it based on a weird partitioning of the hard drive, getting too technical, they had to manually drag over the files from one computer to another, which is insanely time consuming. And I'm so grateful they did it. Um, and so I was able to check it out yesterday morning and they showed me that everything was rectified and actually some of the, the solution, uh, I'm very proud to say <laughs> came from a couple of insights I had as, as we were troubleshooting, but, um, really, really happy that I was able to bring the computer home yesterday and I have been using iMovie and I have been uploading and I was really nervous about uploading that video from yesterday because twice trying to upload that video is what made the computer crash. <laughs> so it was like, don't do this to my new computer, please. Like, don't crash again. But everything went uh, off without a hitch and the upload was so much faster and everything was just peachy keen. So, um, so it was a, a whole 10 days, no computer, really um, stressed out about the values, all the, all the, the inputs that were in the computer, pictures, documents, um, contacts. There was so much information on that computer that was not properly backed up. I can guarantee you yesterday when I got the computer and was working on it, I the first thing I did was plugged in a backup hard drive and did my backup with uh, something called Time Machine on an Apple computer that just kind of takes care of the backup for you. Holy cow. <laughs> So setting back up the email, doing the backup, and of course, getting back into producing content for you based on a bunch of pre-filming that I had done, not knowing that this was going to be pre-filming before catastrophe ensued. So that is what happened with um, me over the last 10 days. Let me get back to makeup here. I'm going to do highlighter and get to my eyes. I think that for highlighter, I'm going to be using Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit. And by the way, I did set my eye primer um, primers today with um, this uh, Benefit Hula. 
which I've been really liking to do and Benefit Hula is just too light for me so it ends up working out quite nicely so I've got a little dandelion twinkle on here a little tap oh helps if I go on the right side to see the mirror doesn't it spread a little bit on each cheek nice and just a little bit on the nose and Cupid's bow. All right, there we go. And let's get into eyes. And for eyes, I'm going to use, for eyes, haha, <laughs> I'm going to use the Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette. And I don't use the brush that comes with it. And for those of you following my Pan That Palette, I'm going to give you a little spoiler. I did repress suede in here and look at that baby pan in there. It happened totally organically, which is so, so rewarding. And, uh, and I did repress suede because suede was in here and the pan was getting too big that I was worried about mangling a brush. So I just decided to use the, the big open pan to, to put it in. And I already am um, getting nice and deep in that. Today I'm wearing a gray shirt specifically because I wanted to do a cool look and I think I'm going to stay right in this area here going with this one in the crease. It's going to match my nails. So yeah, I don't wish this experience on anyone. It was nerve wracking. I, I, like I said, I had a little ugly cry about it. I, um, but I uh, picked myself up from my bootstraps, which makes no sense as a saying, but it's still something we say. And uh, put my big girl pants on and uh, took care of it and set myself up for success if it ever happens again that I have my ducks in a row and that it would be easy to move from one computer to another. Now, that computer is not the only computer we have in the house. I have a total of three. Um, one laptop and one older computer, older than this one, that is my mom's old computer that we use mostly for the screen, like playing YouTube, that kind of thing. And we also have a laptop and an iPad. And uh, I have no intention of upgrading anything else. We just We just need one machine that is kind of on the, the cutting edge, which um, this latest iMac is, and I'm very happy about that, very grateful to be able to have it. And, um, and it works like a charm, it's wonderful. Um, and so I'm not looking to upgrade anything else. I don't know what you guys think about computers and, and how up to date you like to be. I just want a machine that can do what it is that, that I need to do. So, um, and at this point I have what I need. I'm going to go from this crease brush to a smudger brush for the lower lash line. No, I'm going to go with an angled brush first and then with a smudger. Okay, so I'm going to use my favorite angle brush, my only angled brush, and go into that um, called drizzle, kind of a uh, purpley um, gray. Just continue on that on the lower lash line, lower lid really. There we go, and other side. Now from a software perspective, I have to say that I am really enjoying the new, now that I have upgraded to the new iMovie uh, software because the old one that I was using was discontinued some, <laughs> some years ago as the Apple team was letting me know. And, um, and it's quick. It's very quick. Obviously, it's, it's just a better better software and also a better computer that's running it. So that's been a real treat. Um, but, I mean, I had no complaints about the previous computer. It was a little bit slow, but it was still doing everything I wanted it to do. Okay, here is the little, little smudger that I will be using. And I need two brushes. I'm going to be using this one for the outer to center lid, and I'm going in with this black plum over here. Quite a deep color. 
on the outer to uh, outer lid to center lid and crease. I like that. That just transforms the look so, so quickly. But um, one of the things that I was talking to one of the guys at um, Apple, actually the guy that helped me out the most at Apple, Eric, um, he's such a nice person, um, was that he does a lot of video editing and he said, oh, you, you have to move to Final Cut Pro. He just saw some of the videos I was doing and he said, you know, you're really uh, giving yourself a hard time with, with iMovie. You can really do a lot more and have a lot more flexibility with Final Cut Pro. And uh, he invited me to, to request a demo of Final Cut Pro and to go back to, uh, to the store to do that. Uh, that it probably wouldn't be him, but that I could at least get a sense of what the, the software can do. And I think that's a good idea, but I don't think that I would update to it. It's 400 Canadian, probably around 300 US. And, um, and I think that that's probably going to be a good idea over time but not in the short term, plus I still have to stomach, well, my husband and I have to stomach the cost of the new computer, which is, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Okay, I've got the one side done and I think it looks really, really good. What do you think? I really like it. I think I'm just going to deepen up a tiny bit on the black plum right here and then use a crease brush to blend it out a little bit more. Back to my crease brush. Gosh, that's effortless. I really, really enjoy Smashbox eyeshadows. Let me just speed through this other eye and uh, we'll keep talking afterwards. All right, I am done with the eyeshadow except for my brow bone and the inner to center lid. And for my brow bone, I'm going to go back into dandelion here and um, do a little bit just below the brow. Obviously brow bone. I'm going to use a fluffier kind of contour brush from Sephora to do that. Oh, I don't mean to blind you with the mirror. Let's do it this way. All right. I was mentioning I went to the dentist this morning and so I walked through downtown. So I don't live that far away from downtown. And I ended up walking through a shopping center that is right downtown. And I hadn't been in the shopping center proper for uh, quite a while. And it was so different. Wow. I would say a third of the stores were closed. So it's going to have to go through a reinvention because it does not look anything like it should, to be quite frank. It was looking pretty rough. Okay, I am, um, I'm happy with the way this is turning out. I want to do the inner to center lid. So let me find something to complete the look. Okay, I'm getting some major inspiration from these nails I mentioned earlier. And I think I'm going to go in with lavender on the inner to center lid. And that is not what I was planning on doing, but somehow, and that's the, the jumbo, sorry, bump the camera. And this is the jumbo pencil from uh, NYX. And let's see how this goes. I think
think that looks pretty good. I'm going to take a um, triangular, it's like a multitasker from Smashbox and just get a little bit more defined uh, on the inner lid. And this is the brush that I'm talking about. I think I'll be able to pick up some from the jumbo pencil and uh, get it onto my lid. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it works. Seems to. It's a soft edge, but it seems to be working. I think I'm going to try to use my finger, which I tend to default to a lot. Ah, there we go. When in doubt, use the finger. <laughs> that could be taken so out of context. It's got a little sparkle to it too, very nice. I think that might have been on the brush actually will transfer. I am really liking this. Let me try to go back in with the brush. Okay, that is really doing what I'm hoping for it to do. And I'm going to wipe my finger and go in with the other side. So essentially, I am painting my finger with the lavender and then applying it as a transfer to my eyelid. And it is working pretty well. Okay. I am liking it so far. Okay, so all I need now is a very sheer eyeshadow to go over the lavender so that it is, um, it is set but still showing through. I'm going to see if I have a, a, a proper moon dust shadow from Urban Decay. I have Shockwave here. Looks like this. And let's do... That didn't help. Let me show you. It looks like this. And let me just put it over the lavender and see what it looks like. Mm, that's pretty dark. Let's see what else I have. Okay, we have a winner. So that was the initial one that I tried. Then I tried this one, which is Space Cowboy, but that really turns it to kind of beige. But this one I think is worthwhile and it is called Vape. And we are just going to try to sprinkle it on, nothing too crazy, so that we don't lose that lavender look. Let's see if I can be successful in doing that. Just to take some of the tackiness away from the shadow without completely losing the color. And I do lose some of the color, but not all of it. Urban Decay to the rescue. this is a pretty good match. 
I'm happy with that. Oh, a little transfer on the bottom there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take care of a liner, freshen up my mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and I do have a definite, full-on, cool look today, and I used, where did it go? Where did it go? It's in my hand. I have put on the Buxom uh, Rose Julep as my lip, um, full-on lip cream, I think it's called. Yes, it's one of my 12 uh, pan by Christmas items, and I think it, it goes really well with the eye look, so why not? And I used three different eyeliners. I have the black here, which is Zero by Urban Decay on my upper waterline. I used Annabelle that has a white base. It's a lavender with a white base on my lower waterline. I hope it's showing up. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then finally, this one called um, <laughs> Prune Intense, which means intense plum. And it is a Canadian brand called Lise Watier, and I love these eyeliners, and they are a steal right now if you get the uh, liner set for Christmas. And it looks like that, and I have that on my lower lash line. I like the look, I really do, and I finished it up with the Master Fix by Maybelline, which I think is a really decent value um, setting spray. If you want to know more about setting sprays, I did do a whole video on a bunch of them, and I will put it right there from a drugstore to high end and then gave you my favorites. Yeah, I think I have talked enough. If you want to see anything else that is on my face, you can see it in the description box as usual. Um, oh, and I little, uh, last little tidbit, story-wise. I wanted to show you my ailing baby. This is what is left of my previous computer, and I think you can see it through the packaging. This is the hard drive. The only thing that I kept from the entire, the entirety of my computer, it has been, it has gone to the great uh, computer land in the sky, meaning that it is getting 100% recycled by Apple. But I did keep this because I was told that it was still functional if anything went wrong with my backup drive. But um, I will, I will keep this hard drive for a while just as a a reminder of the importance of backing up data and as a cautionary tale uh, for myself in the future and maybe who knows maybe in watching this video you will um, also consider uh, whether or not your backup strategy for your important information is taken care of and also what would you do if all of a sudden your computer went kaput and um, you know fried, whatever you want to call it, and you had to mitigate the, uh, the issue uh, yourself. So yeah, it's been, it's been a, a good learning experience, not so good, but good in a way. And, uh, and I'm happy to be back. I'm so happy to be producing videos for you again. And you will see, um, needless to say, you will see a slew of them over the next couple of weeks, and I will just try not to bombard you completely with them. But I have, no joke, 10 to 12 videos pre-filmed, and uh, that just needs some, some editing and, uh, and, of course, uploading. So, uh, yeah, if you've been missing the videos, you have a chance to binge, if you so choose, in the days to come. Thank you so much for uh, getting ready with me with these stories and um, I guess story time from my perspective. I think that's what I'm going to call it is story time. And um, yeah, let me know if uh, you have similar stories uh, of woe computer wise or technology wise or whatnot. I would love for, to, uh, to hear from you. And uh, <laughs> What, what did you think of the absence? Did you, did you even notice? <laughs> or was it a nice break not to have a video from me practically every day? Anyway, let me know what you think. And I thank you so much for watching. 
I appreciate it every single time. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next one. But for now, take care. Thank you.